In this video, we're going to see about local hormones. So this question is usually asked as a short essay as such. And um, many one word or MCQ questions can be asked from this part. So we'll see how to approach such a question. So first of all, what is the definition of local hormones? Local hormones are chemicals that are secreted locally from an endocrine tissue that are primarily involved in the control of local tissue functions where they are secreted. So see they are secreted locally and they control the local tissue functions. Okay. So important examples of local hormones are histamine, serotonin, prostaglandin and bradykinin. Uh, there are many other local hormones also one of which is substance P. So we will see each one by one. First we will see about histamine. You know that histamine is very important mediator of allergy and thus the main cause of all symptoms like this is histamine right so first we'll write about the source of histamine from where is histamine produced it is produced from the mast cells and basophils so we know that in the granules of the mast cells and basophils we've got histamine and then maybe we can write a flow chart regarding the formation of histamine so histamine is produced from histidine by an enzyme histidine decarboxylase okay and how is it metabolized it is metabolized by another enzy enzyme called monoamine oxidase see this enzyme is important you need not uh, learn every enzyme but anyway this uh, enzyme is very important so see his, uh, histamine is converted by monoamine oxidase to methyl imidazole acetic acid MIA methyl imidazole acetic acid so this is how the formation and metabolism of histamine takes place. Next, we'll see about the histamine receptor. See, depending on the receptor, the mechanism of action of histamine will vary. So suppose it acts on H1 receptor. So H1 receptor is more in the CNS, in the lungs, in the heart, as well as the blood vessels. So the actions of uh, on these organs will be mediated by H1 receptor. Whereas H2 receptor is mainly seen in our stomach, in the uh, alve alveoli, lung alveoli, heart, CNS. Okay, and H3 receptor is seen in the large intestine, heart, lungs, and neurons. And in some books, they also mention an H4 receptor, which is mainly seen in the thyroid, intestine, and the blood. Okay, so you can just mention about the different uh, receptors. And what is the primary location of that receptor? So see, H1 receptor is seen. There are H2, H1 receptors, H2 receptors, and H3 receptors. H1 receptor is mainly seen on the smooth muscle and the immediate inflammation and allergy. H2 receptor is found in the gastric mucosa and immediate gastric acid secretion. And H3 receptor is mainly found in the CNS. Okay, so these are about the major sites of the receptors. So next we'll see the physiological actions of histamine. So first we'll see the actions on cardiovascular system. So to remember this, remember a patient uh, or a, a patient who has got allergy and has gone into an anaphylactic shock. So what will be the features of such a patient? So we know that allergy is caused due to histamine and thus the actions or the, the symptoms seen or signs seen in a an athletic shock patient will will show us the actions of histamine and cardiovascular system okay so if you remember like that you'll be it'll be easier for you to reproduce the answer in the exam so on cardiovascular system is a potent vasodilator right and it also decreases the cardiac output it decreases the blood pressure which causes hypotension so see it's a vasodilator it decreases the cardiac output and decreases the blood pressure causing hypotension okay so that is the action on cardiovascular system. Next, we'll see the action on the smooth muscle. So on the smooth muscle, it increases the tone of most of the smooth muscle. That is why it can increase intestinal motility. Okay. And what about in uh, the lungs? In the lung smooth muscle, it can cause bronchoconstriction, which makes the person difficult to breathe. Okay. So it increases the tone of the smooth muscle. It increases the intestinal motility and in causes bronchoconstriction next we'll see the action on exocrine secretion so see it's a powerful stimulator of uh, hcl secretion from the parietal cells of the stomach okay so that is why we say that 
H2 receptor antagonist can be given for you know uh, acidity problems like for example Rantac it is a H2 receptor blocker so Rantac can help to decrease the gastric acid secretion okay so see histamine can increase HCL secretion that is why we give histamine antagonist to decrease the HCL secretion okay it also potentiates the salivary pancreatic as well as intestinal secretion so in general histamine increases all the secretions next was the role in inflammation so it's, we know that it's an important mediator for inflammation so how does it do so see when there is a local vasodilation it increases the blood flow at the site of inflammation right there it increases the capillary permeability so there will be local swelling there and thus there will be features of triple swelling which is ruber calra and dollar okay so see local vasodilatation will be there because when we know that in during inflammation histamine is released so there will be local vasodilation so there will be increased blood flow to the site of inflammation which can cause increased capillary permeability which will produce a local swelling there due to the edema and thus cause triple response okay and what is the role in allergy see we know that it has a very important role in acute systemic allergy that is anaphylaxis right so what starts as a very small allergy can end up being an anaphylactic shock so how does it occur that is because when there is a release of histamine there will be acute vasodilation which can cause hypotension next uh, we know that it's an important mediator in local allergic reaction also so see we already discussed about that how histamine can cause a uh, a reaction or a local edema at the site of allergy next it can cause bronchial asthma how because it causes bronchoconstriction so that is a role in allergy it can cause acute systemic allergy local allergic reactions as well as bronchial asthma next for some applied aspects you can mention about some antihistaminic drugs like h1 receptor antagonist for example citrusin which can be used in the treatment of allergies and H2 receptor antagonists such as Rantac which can be used to inhibit the histamine induced HCL secretion. So that would complete histamine.